come from a little bit different perspective. Um, when you look at the speakers to my right, they very unique family of basketball. Coaches, people that have been in, in the locker rooms. From an administrator's pers perspective, it's completely different. We have not as much interaction as the family of basketball. Doesn't mean that there's not the love there that uh, we felt for Mr. Kitely. Uh, I will say this as I look at these guys sitting on the front row, and that, those two rows, managers, staff over here to the right. Guys, he loved you uh, more than words can express. And he didn't do it for himself. He did it for you. He did it for you. And that's made it all the more special. Today we have the honor and the privilege of remembering a true treasure of Kentucky, Bill Mr. Wildcat Kitely. First, let me acknowledge his family, specifically Hazel, his wife, Karen, his daughter, and let them know that they will be in our thoughts and prayers in the days ahead. I would like to give some perspective from the University of Kentucky and a couple of personal notes over the next few minutes. 48 years on the sidelines of Wildcat basketball. If you look at the statistics, 1,464 games. 1,113 games Kentucky won. That's a lot of victories. Six head coaches over four and a half decades. Several hundred players and managers passing through the locker rooms of Memorial Coliseum, Rupp Arena, and Joe Craft Center. Let's just assume, for simplicity's sake, that during the season, of course, making sure that we monitored all those practices, that the team averaged 130 practices a year and another 70 or so workouts during the off-seasons, early fall and spring, somewhere in that zone. Mr. Kitely prepared and worked through roughly 11,000 practices in addition to those 1,464 games. Now that's a lot of basketball. That's a lot of hours given to something which was so much a part of his life. Amazing numbers. Yet it has been so aptly described early on, Bill Kitely was so much more than practices, so much more than games, and so much more than locker rooms. He was truly the heartbeat of a university. Beyond that, he was a tremendous, tremendous ambassador for the Commonwealth of K Kentucky. A few things it was not. It was not about money for Bill Kitely. I'm confident there were many opportunities his notoriety would have brought him outside of basketball. It was not about honors. He had plenty of them. The job was not about him. He knew it was bigger than any one person and he lets you know that every day. However, he knew it was about people he loved. The people he loved, players, coaches, managers, staff within the Wildcat family, and also the extended Kentucky family, fans, friends of the program, but most importantly, the Commonwealth of Kentucky. He knew that's what it was truly about. It was, a, it was about a state's heritage, basketball. He loved the game. It was about a university he loved, the blue and white of Kentucky. It was about a city he loved, the rolling hills and horse country of Lexington. It was about a commonwealth he loved, the bluegrass of Kentucky. A lot of people will describe him today in a lot of different ways. My description is simply this, and you've heard it said already, he was loyal, a trait which is tough to find nowadays, true to his word, and the effort necessary to finish the job he started every day. You get here at seven, he was here at five. You get here at six, he got there at four. You stayed till 10, he stayed till 11. Whatever it took to get the job done, Bill Kitely finished the job. Humble, again, it was not about him. After most of the games, he was generally one of the first ones back to the locker room. I always marveled at that as guys walk down the hallway, he is one of the first ones back. Forgoing the spotlight and choosing to get on with the task at hand and that's preparing for the next deal, preparing for the next thing. He worked to get 
on to the next job. You've heard him say he was encouraging, always there to squeeze the back of the neck or shake the hand of someone in need of a good word or a smile, always. As Coach Gillespie said, he always made you feel like you were his best friend. Coach Hall said the same thing. Joe said he thought he was his best friend. Again, everybody here did. Bill had that way of made, making you feel special. His advice and his wisdom, wonderful. Always delivered in a timely fashion. Always very discreetly done and very considerate. He was a wise man. He had a servant's heart. In Matthew 23, 12, it says, Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. We're called to be, hum be ourselves and ser uh, humble ourselves and serve our others in all that we do. He served others with a great humble heart, unbelievable humble heart we could all learn from. On the team plane, I was always struck how Mr. Kiley sat in the very last row on the aisle seat. I'm not sure the reason for that. I truly believe it was because he wanted everyone else to be well taken care of and making sure that they had the seats that they wanted and it wasn't important to him where he sat. He put others in front of himself every day in every detail. He was Kentucky's great ambassador. He was the first person people asked for on the speaking circuit, always. He had great wit and was wildly popular. We all knew that. His stories were fabulous. His stories were fabulous. He always acknowledged by on-air personalities, everywhere we'd go, whether it was radio, television, they were the first people to go over and greet him every game. It was an amazing phenomenon you can't explain to anyone else anywhere in the country. The game officials, when they took the court, whose hand did they shake first? It wasn't the head coaches usually. They didn't want to spend much time with them anyway. They went to Mr. Wildcat, and they shook his hand, and rightfully so. He was the glue. He was the lead goodwill ambassador for the University of Kentucky. We will miss Mr. Bill Kitely, and we'll thank him for all of his contributions to the Commonwealth of Kentucky and to the University of Kentucky. We thank you, the family, for letting us have him for 48 very special years. We owe you a lot, and we thank you for that. We thank you for allowing us to enjoy a true Kentucky treasure that cannot be replaced, but will always be remembered. Thank you and God bless.